Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Extra Chat for Viewers. In this video, I have a quick little app review for Adobe Photoshop Touch. Now what this app allows you to do is basically bring a ton of the tools from the PC, uh, Mac, you know, desktop version of Photoshop and puts it right on your phone, uh, on your mobile device. So basically this app is, I believe, $4.99 in the App Store, so it's not a huge price for what you're getting. Uh, you get a ton of things. Let me run through some of them right now. Basically when you launch the app, um, Obviously, first you see like a splash screen that says Photoshop Touch. Then it goes straight to this screen uh, and you can see all your different projects you're working on. I just opened up these just for the sake of this video real quick. Um, and yeah, so this bottom button down here, uh, you can hit Adobe Creative Cloud. So I think what this will do is allow you to sync all of your stuff through like Adobe's cloud service. Like if you have Photoshop on your Mac or your PC and you have projects there, you can quickly transfer them straight to your mobile device. I don't use that, I don't have that, so I did not uh, set any of that up, but it's here. Down here, you can uh, create a new project. So from photo library, creative cloud, camera, blank document, or clipboard. Over here, you can um, save to camera roll. So if I click that, I can select which one of these product projects I want to save to my camera roll, and then I can choose uh, JPEG or PNG, and I'm not going to do either of them right now. So up here, you've got delete, duplicate, move, create folder uh, for these different projects. And then you've also got my account, general import, image import, uh, privacy policy, help and about. So I'm just going to uh, hop into this picture right here um, and kind of zoom in a little bit here and show you some of the tools that you can use for uh, within this application. So up here at the top, you can click this and you can see you got cut, copy, copy, merge, paste, clear, you know, a lot of different things over here you've got adjustments so if I wanted to change um, uh, let's just say invert just for the sake of this um, it can quickly invert all the colors you can change you can change to black and white with the invert um, there's just a lot of things you can do then there's you can quickly uh, undo with this undo button up here at the top and then the redo button right there there's an FX button so you've got all these different uh, effects that you can put onto your picture, which I'm not going to do. I'm just running through some of these because you know, you, I wanna show you guys all the different features that this app uh, has in it. So you can crop the image, change the image, image size, rotate it, um, change the gradient, warp it, whatever you want up there. Now down here, you've got uh, this button here allows you to add layers and view the different layers and even turn them off. So I can turn off this layer and you can see I've got nothing there. So. Uh, that's nice to use when you're editing pictures, you know, and you want to see what it would look like without a specific layer. Uh, you can add a layer by hitting this button. You can add a photo layer, so then you can, you know, obviously go in your photo library or whatever and add another picture. Um, then down here, you've got different modes for this. Is this? I think I don't know what this is called. The select tool, maybe, um, where I could go in and uh, select this lady's face if I wanted, um, and then if I hit this button now it has a little plus next to it. So anything that I do over here will add a little bit more. So if I missed a little spot or uh, whatever, I can't zoom in any more than 400% apparently. Uh, that's just pinch to zoom by the way. Uh, and I can just select her entire head. Let's see if I can get this real quick. There we go, good enough for the sake of this video. And I can go over here, hit copy, zoom out a bit, hit paste, and there is her head again and I can put that on this guy's head if I want um, just for fun and hit the little you, you can flip it like this so there we go that looks a little bit better uh, a little bit bigger <laughs> whatever and then I'm gonna hit the check mark and then that's done and there you go you've put someone else's head on someone else so just a little bit of a demonstration there. If you hit this, uh, hit it again, it changes to a minus, so you can select a little bit less if you would like. Um, so yeah, then you got corners and anti-alias. Honestly, I don't know what that does. I'm not a pro at this. Uh, if you hit this button over here and then hold down on these, um, then you can select, let's see, circle selection tool, lasso selection tool. I don't know what these do, by the way. Polygon selection tool. I think they just change the way that it selects the things. Magic wand. Paint tools, you got spray tools and eraser tools here. Um, and then clone stamp tool, healing, blur, smudge, whatever you want over there. So I'm just going to bring it back to this one because that's what I usually use. And just for the heck of it, I will put on a, um, what should I put? I'll just put on one of these things just to show you kind of what it does. 
I think a good one will be this one. This one will just quickly uh, show you. Oh wait, I accidentally put it on this lady's head. So I have her head selected, so it's just adding it straight to her head. Let me show you here uh, if I select this and then hit over here, hit it again. There we go. Now this is doing it to everything except her head now because I didn't select that when I uh, uh, on the layers tool. But anyways, you get the idea. I can lessen it, um, bring a little bit more, get it just the way I want, uh, change the saturation here, uh, and then hit this button, the check mark, and there it is, all edited up and ready to go. So that was just a quick little um, thing. You can save a copy, which will basically, when you go back to here, you got the original one, which was the unedited one that I had before, and then also this edited one, and it saves a copy of it. So you have both of them in case you decide one of them wasn't that good. If I go over here to this picture just for the heck of it, uh, I can just show you, um, what should I show you? I can show you a little bit more of the effects, like um, temperature, I can change this here. If I want to make it a little bit warmer of a picture, you know, I can change that up and stuff like that. So overall, I think this is a great app for the price. You can edit things, make it look really good. You know, Instagram is pretty lame uh, because you can't, you don't really do anything. You just apply a filter. This thing, you can actually change the filters up a little bit, change the picture up, make it look just the way you want it. And for only five bucks, I think that you get a ton of tools here um, that you could use to really make a picture look good. So I'm not going to save that. And then there you can see, um, those are the three pictures. So check it out. This app's currently $4.99 in the App Store. It's a pretty good app, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.